When I was in middle school, I stumbled into my school library and I came across this book and it was basically like a workbook to teach yourself how to speak Italian. And I checked it out and I never turned From back. From there, I spent the next eight years of my life teaching myself Italian with this dream in my mind to one day go. And I never thought it would happen. And then in 2018, I happened to be the victim of an armed home invasion. And, you know, when your life flashes before your eyes, you kind of realize like our time on this earth is limited. So do whatever you can to do all the things that you've ever wanted to do. So that's what I did the home invasion happened in January and then by that June I was in Italy on the ground it was absolutely everything it I could have wanted it to be and more so we started our trip off actually by flying into England we flew into London and then from there we went to Florence which was my favorite city we did a really cool trek in um, Tuscany we went to San Gimignano we went to Siena and they were having like their super cool um, like horse race where it's kind of like a uh, MMA meets horse racing if I'm being honest it was really really cool to be there for but anyways we rode vespas through italy and um just some of those mental images i could not get out of my mind and so i was inspired to create this oil painting i ended up naming this oil painting after one of my favorite songs called tutto quest was say to and it's by um an italian artist and i just felt like the title fit the theme very well and so i just got to work on it this painting has sold, it was 16 inches by 20 inches, but I was able to convert it into a canvas print. And so the canvas print is available in a size five by seven, all the way up to a 24 by 30 inch canvas print. You just have to go to shakiaharrisart.com. All the information's at the end, but keep watching if you wanna see the finishing touches and then also see some of the customer reviews on this beauty. Oh wait, I forgot to mention the Italy trip. So we started off in Florence, we did Tuscany, Siena, and then from Florence, we went to Venice and Venice was, uh, the trip that was not supposed to happen i was going to cut it off to go somewhere else and my husband had rallied for it vigorously and i'm so glad that we did because i did not understand the magnitude of the city being completely you know surrounded by water and the fact that like not only are there no cars there there are no bikes there are no skateboards there are no scooters um so that was really cool like to see like a boat trash truck like oh my goodness it was amazing but yeah so we did venice we did rome we did naples we did mount vesuvius